hard work to be named high school valedictorian, and 17-year-old Dominic Kumo's achievement is both impressive and inspirational. NBC4's Tony Shin has his story from Apple Valley. Talk to teachers at Apple Valley High School, and they'll tell you they're not surprised Dominic Kumo is one of the popular kids. You'll notice he's wearing his letterman's jacket and he's, he's sporting the FFA letter. He just is an amazing young man. They'll also tell you they're not surprised he's one of the smartest, too. He never let anything hold him back. He scored high on all the tests. He didn't let any of the challenges stand in his way, and he just rocked him. Which is why it's no wonder 17-year-old Dominic Kumo has been named 2021 class valedictorian. He's just been a super hard worker since day one. Dominic's mom, Shawnee, says her son is a superhero who refuses to let multiple disabilities defeat him, including a rare form of ALS. Getting up at 6 a.m., studying for tests, staying up late, working on weekends. I remember in the beginning, he would work 20 hours on a weekend and spend at least 20, 30 hours after school during the week working. So it means that Dominic um, has earned every bit. He deserves it. Shawnee also says her son wouldn't have achieved this level of success if it weren't for the kindness and support from the school district. And the district has provided him every technological advantage and also with, you know, sidewalks and widening doors and equipment, and they just made it that much easier for him to participate. We asked Dominic how it feels to be valedictorian. Yes. He has trouble speaking, so his mom told us. He says he owes a lot to his teachers. He said, I couldn't have done it without any of you, so thank you so much. So now the only question is, where should Dominic go to college? He's talked about Harvard, he's talked about a couple others, but as long as it's online, because we're going to be on the beach. In Apple Valley. <laughs> Tony Shin, NBC4 News.